Hey, hey, it's Wednesday, my dudes. We got KSP2. We're gonna fly to Druz. What's a Druz? I don't know what Druz is. It didn't exist in the first game, did it? Well, it don't exist in this game either. And I'm gonna prove it with this mission. And I made this nice little rocket here. We got a hydrogen section. We got a little lander. And we got a big old booster. Kerbalized. Felt like 12, I think it was 12. I did a, a row of, of 16. Not a row of 16. I did a row of six. Oh, this is a countdown. If you didn't know, that's in, uh, it's like Spanish backwards. And there goes the launch. Yeah, so there's, uh, six vectors, and then six more, like, smashed kind of in the inside of it, in the centering, to give us 12 vectors. Gave us the 1.3-something TWR. So like that's a good type. It wasn't even one point. It was like 1.27. I was like close enough to 1.3. But yeah, yeah, it it worked out. Other than we don't go to drugs because there's not a drugs to even go to. The sound of that rocket taking off. That's a real rocket. They went and oh, I was gonna say filmed, but no, it's recorded. Recorded is the right word. Yeah, they recorded actual rockets taking off. That's pretty great. You probably knew that. It's not like I'm the first one to say that, you know. And actually, so me watch my last video. Craziness. The the music in KSB2 is pretty amazing. That's why I'm just going with the the stack sounds and. Hopefully it turns out well. Because I just cut the, the music away. KSP1 I am. I always fast forward all the, the footage too. So we didn't fast forward any footage on this. We cut some sections out. But we didn't fast forward. So we can see that. It plays decently on my computer. I don't have a like, super computer. But I definitely got a decent one. We got a 660 Ti, it's like 32 RAM or something, i7, 1770 or something, yeah, it, it, it does decent. I ain't really had any, any lag issues yet, but I ain't done a whole lot. This is the biggest thing I've tried to build in it yet. But, yeah, it works. So we got a little bendy here. It's a flexing. Definitely got, we definitely got bendy rockets in uh, KSB2. And then, um, I did my throttle in KSP one was always the, the number pad 8 and 2 for up and down. But apparently 2, and I couldn't figure out how to change it in KSB2 mutes and unmutes the music so every time I try to settle down I'm muting and unmuting the music so I'm gonna have to change that I think I'm gonna put it over at the plus and minus on the number pad for my throttle that's how I like it cuz uh, we're over there shift and control like it's set up to be and then that's kind of in the way of like how do you do that and turn WSAD yeah, it doesn't work very good. Especially like shuttles, because you like you thrust vector and you're Yeah. Shuttles That's why I have such a problem with console. You can't fly shuttles hardly at all. It's virtually impossible to fly a shuttle on console. You're a lot better player of console of I, than I am if you can fly a shuttle. And I started out KSP with a sh playing console on the Xbox 360. I didn't know about it until then. It came out and I was like, what is this? 
oh, that game's old. It's been on PC for a long time. When I had a PC that was good enough to play games. So I played Kerbal for a long time on Xbox. And then I bought a PC. I was like, let's play a PC. So I was like, yeah, it definitely works way better. The controls are meant for a keyboard and mouse. Now a little controller. Pretty soon I think we're gonna lose a fairing here. We just kinda steadily going oh it sounds like the the hip space music. Yeah, the way I orbit I kinda took from Mike and Ben a bean, however you say it. Like he just gets up, arcs it over, and then cuts your the throttle way back. Keep your apple if it's in time to around a minute. If it starts going up, throttle back. If it starts falling, throttle up. And then you find a nice sweet spot where it just kind of stays around a minute. And then, yeah, then your frontal orbit burn isn't hardly nothing at all. It's a great technique. I did uh, start out on somewhat of a Dres transfer orbit it's supposed to be like 80 degrees. I might have been a little over a little closer to 90, but It's close enough, but it's still like I hate the maneuver node maker in this thing. It is absolutely horrible Um devs we need to we need to fix that your, your maneuver plan thing is just dumb The way KSP one was great <coughs> It had that little extra little thing you could click on yeah we need that back oh here I think I'm trying to find out how to stage my fairing because it's it's way too far up this the staging oh there goes it eject and then it just kind of stays together but we had the Kerbal call there I like how they got the Kerbals talking to you like the chatter mod in KSP1 Love that mod. Cracks me up. So yeah, there's a look at the lander. As we uh, continue the, the Matt Lounge style, we're just talking about randomness. Talking about my PC, talking about KSP1. That's how we do it. And somehow the last video got like 240 views which that ain't a lot but for my videos that was like more than all of them together I think <laughs> previously the highest viewed was like 70 so sudden last one like yeah no one even watches them so I don't know I just do it to do it and then I was like bam triple digits and a subscriber yeah like and subscribe don't forget about that one. But I gotta talk for half an hour during this thing. Hey, look, we lit up the the huge giant new nuclear engine. It's a good thing to segue into, right? The new engine. That's pretty sweet. Oh, here we're gonna play around with the maneuver node, but jigger. See, and usually you don't get this here. With it's been a bug. I got to see my. Periapsis coming across draws So it's like yeah, I got it. I can see my Objection to you. Oh, there's draws. Yep. See it was there it had some rings They had that that's kind of neat or whatever this little asteroid thing out here is It's not a planet. There's no there's no planet called draws They're going to this little asteroid, but somehow we are uh, We end up in a lot hotter of this place Cause it's just burning and burning and burning and then all of a sudden um, we're like out by jewel um, what the heck that is not where I was trying to go yo Cause yeah is this maneuver plan burn timer thing yeah I don't know I didn't, I didn't. maybe maybe it was the bug it, it didn't it didn't work out right. I, instead of going to Draz, I almost went to Jewel. I 
or some little uh, asteroid thing with a little with some rings. But yeah, I tried going there. It's not there. And the game showed me how it was gonna go. See what sphere influence. They even showed me the periapsis was most people can't even get that. That bug. There's a bug. I mean, it's supposed to be the way I was. I had it, but yeah, it's not been that way. And a lot of people are like, yeah, I can't even see how close I am to anything. Once you leave this sphere influence, it doesn't show you into the next one. Luckily, I got to see it, but. And we just keep burning, and we keep burning. And burning, it's like, is this burn ever gonna end? Will we end up where we're trying to be? No, we won't. So we're looking at it, it's like, alright, yeah, it's, it's looking right. And then all of a sudden, it's not so right. But if we're just going to keep going to what my maneuver plan line here shows. And it, it lied to me. It just, it lied. See, they're, they're showing, we have the encounter there. I think that's what it's showing me anyhow. Okay, SP2. Uh, I love to hate it, alright? So now, where'd my encounter go? Like, what's going on here? Alright, let's zoom out of the curve and sphere influence. See what happens then, probably. Look at that shot. Yeah, no visual mods, no way to brighten it up. Anybody who's thinking about it, uh, my unprofessional professional opinion, KSP one's better. The mods, mods are amazing. But I got this so I could play it through the whole the whole shebang from beginning to end. I didn't get that with KSP1. I came in when it came out on Xbox. So I like missed the whole beginning. <laughs> yeah, and then the, the game pause, unpause, glitch, bug. I didn't get it too bad. I had to come up a few times where it just would like double or triple it and not cover the whole screen. Like you see in like Matt Lowndes videos. Alright, well, how do we, uh, get to the old Drezzer here? Wait, yeah, see, now we're all the way out to Jules' orbit. So let's try to make another maneuver plan. And then it goes wonky. I mean, I definitely cut out lots of time just maneuver planning and maneuver planning. Both the first maneuver plan and this maneuver plan. The little do 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 is pretty cool though. I do like that. But now the encounter things like it's so different. Like how do you get an encounter? Drag and drag and drag. And it's tough to like move it around the orbit. There's no uh, maybe there is, but I haven't seen to found the skip an orbit button so if you know about that I don't know, put it in the comments if it's like hey dummy over here skip the orbit then now look we're, we're crashing into Kerbal we we're trying to go to Jewel well we we're trying to get to Drez we almost went to Jewel and now we're gonna crash into Kerbal the page is telling us something oh we ran out of our communication with the KSC and I was like, oh wait, we never deployed this, the satellite dish, that's why. So let's deploy the satellite dish. I also built an airliner and went and flew around, tried to find the Cove launch site from KSP-1. Couldn't find that. I already knew the island runway was there because Scott Manley did went like that in the ESA event thing. And then I flew over for the desert, thinking maybe I could find the desert pyramid easter egg thing. 
in the desert runway and I couldn't find either one of those. So I don't know if they're just not in the game or if I was looking in the wrong spots. If you know, put it in the comment. Oh yeah, while you're down below, don't forget to like and subscribe. And we're going to do another little maneuver, I think, to really set us crashing into the curveball to the sun. But they actually named it curveball on KSP2. It was kind of, I think KSP1, like, some things you'd click on, it would say the sun. But then other science equipment would say you've collected this science in orbit of curveball. Don't know if that was science that was later on from the DLC. And that's probably why, because the community was already. Yeah, it's Kerbal. I guess. I don't really know where Kerbal came from. If that was really just full of the KSP community, or it was originally in the game somewhere. Uh, now we're going to burn up our hydrogen stage, I do believe. So we can fly to Kerbal and try to land in the sun. I thought maybe we could fly right through it because there's no heating. Yeah, that didn't work. Apparently it's solid or something. So even when there is heating and you burn up before you get there. Yeah. Oh, I like Jewel because people are like parachuting down in a Jewel or whatever. And they're finding like a, a solid object inside what they're landing on. Uh, the sun ain't like that. Nope. You crash. Boom. Game over. Curable dead. I do gotta get on my uh, streaming Kerbalism with the Outer Planets mods and lots of other mods yeah I'll have a whole list going on when I finally do it I mean I did one and then I didn't really like it because I was explaining some of the mods and then I was talking about the time warp and I worked and my parachutes fell off and I killed like Val or something so we're just gonna start over because I've added some other mods I had the procedural wings. So after, well, since KSP has procedural wings, so why not have procedural wings in KSP1? So I got me a mod that gives me procedural wings. The B9, I think it's B9 procedural wings. I got last here. Is it right here? That's not it. Here's my last. Yep. Uh, B9 procedural wings. And B9 part switcher. Cause that was for something else, but yeah, we're going all out with like 90 mods or something. <laughs> That's the only cool thing about the the new maneuver plan. When you when you move it, it's like do 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 do. Go another crash smacker into Kerbal. Somehow something happened and we we're no longer hitting it again. Why was it still going? D -d 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 -d. Celestial. Then we'll try to get the right view so we can see the sun but not be totally blinded. And then you put the credit for it and you don't see nothing. Yeah, here we go. We're gonna sound the fact like we're uh, moving the maneuver mode, no thingy though. Know. Time warp up. There we go, look at that. Big ball of plasma burning hotness. See, here's where it's like doubling up. Oh, and then 
it just tweaks out. Let's try a time warp and it just spins in circles and doesn't really go anywhere. That's a cool bug, right? That's always fun. I'm like, whoa. Pause it. Undo the time warp. Um, that's normal. Oh, okay. So that's how it works. Yeah, got it. We're still way out here. We, we might be out by like Elu's orbit now. Forever. Takes like 30 some years to fly back in. Yeah. Great times. Right, yeah, can't get up to that maneuver. Get up to my plan, but it won't go anywhere. We're, we're bugged out. Oh, oh, then, then it starts moving. And then it stops. And then it goes. Time warp is limited due to the proximity of a celestial object. There's nothing even close to us. We all know a celestial object is uh, hindering our time warp, but... Bugs. The celestial bug planet. The Kraken. The Kraken lives. Oh, the Kraken lives very well. He feeds wonderfully in KSP2. There might even be more than one Kraken. There's like a whole family of Kraken. There we go. We got limited to celestial bodies again. Even though we're out in the middle of deep space around nothing. No, we're even close. Celestial polar bears. The solar bears. And we're time warping, but we're stuck. That's great, huh? It's a lot of fun. This game's amazing. <laughs> so glad, uh, to be uh, torturing myself for your amusement. Hopefully you're getting amusement out of it. Otherwise, I'm just torturing myself. <laughs> hey, I guess that's what we gotta do to be a KSP2 player, right? There we go. Now we're getting our, our track dialed in to crash. Although, I mean, we've done it like three times now, I think. Hey, we're just inside of Jewel's orbit. Now we can get it to move. Hey, look, there's a shiny red rocket. We got a shiny red rocket. Oh. Okay. Okay. Separation successful. And now we got just a tiny little red rocket. You can't ride in my little red rocket. The satellite dish is broken. And we're heading for the sun. We couldn't find Driz. Y'all forgot about Driz. This could have done with this. What do you mean? How do you forget about something that doesn't exist? I don't know why these people are like, oh, we've, we flew to the rings of Drez and there's a, a canyon and I'm like, there's no such thing as Drez. I'm, I'm proving it in this thing. Like, I tried to go there and I ended up flying into the sun. Like, heading straight at the Kerbal. The funny thing is, wasn't we right, like, close to it just a little while ago? I think we must like went in, slingshot it back out, re-maneuvered. See now we don't have an air sucked anymore. Oh, there we go. That came back. That was just a time warp. Time warp messing things up. And around and around we go. Around and around. The merry-go-round. T 
time warping at almost full ludicrous speed. Of course, we're going at pretty ludicrous speed here. I mean, maybe not quite so much yet, but we will be. Our speed gets incredibly fast. I mean, you you don't expect that traveling towards the sun, right? So gravity just pulling you in. Uh, you're burning massive amounts of delta V to get there. Oh, we're inside Duna's orbit. We're getting closer. Soon, someday, we'll be there. In all its spectacular glory. Well, I think I was trying to find it. Like, I can't even find this one. Where are we at? Hey, there, there we go. Kerbal. This star known as Kerbal. I gotta do this, uh, the Mimnus challenge for this week. That'll be the next video. The kind of thing, and I missed the other challenges, so maybe, the kind of thing, and I'm gonna air launch one to make up for last week and air launch it and then land my air launch thing on Mimnus. Kind of a double, double challenge, which I don't know, like the, the second tier of, the other, of last week's was to air launch and land on the Mun, so. Well, air launch something landed on Mimnus. I just kind of do my own challenge type of deal. How do you like that? Yeah, I think it's pretty great. Just like getting science from the sun when you crash into it. As we get closer and it's blindingly bright. Block it out with the ship. Oh. Landing gear? How do we deploy landing gear? Oh, I thought I deployed landing gear. Oh, pause? Unpause. There it goes. And we're flying it again. That's the worst part about flying that Kerbal. It's extremely bright. Something stuck. Yeah, then we have now no controls. I'm guessing that's because we don't have communication. I don't know. Did, did we encounter another bug? And we got a Kerbal on it, so shouldn't I still be able to point prograde and retrograde? No, it actually just looks like someone scribbled it out. Very Kerbal style as we go spinning around and around. Every time we're up, and then it starts zooming. And we're getting closer and closer. Yeah, look at that. That's a good view of the, the Kerbal. Now it ain't. But I got it inside. Well, you see the right spot. It's <laughs> Oh, that's bright. But if you cover that, oh, there we go. That's nice. We're going to be the first Kerbals to the sun. The Kerbals took Kerbal. We're going to land it. We're gonna try to land it, but we don't have. Maybe just because we're so close to the curve all like there is no up or down or <laughs> in or out. That's like a black hole. Yeah, I was like trying to get retrograde so I could point the landy end down, but yeah, it didn't. It didn't want to work. There was nothing we can do. I'm like, I got batteries. I got 
I mean, we did it. We ran out single a long time ago and we're still able to do stuff. So I don't quite understand how we totally lost everything. Zoom, getting closer. That's getting bigger. It's a lot easier to cover the blinding spot, huh? You can see the stuff pulsating. It's a good graphic of the sun. Of the kerbal. Of the star. So yeah, be uh, on the lookout for... Uh, air launched Mimnus rocket coming to a KSP video near you and then we're gonna like I've been saying streaming the modded Kerbalism someday I'm gonna play Mons Bazoo the Canadian life simulator too I've had that game for like a year and I haven't even played it not once yet so someday we're gonna we're gonna figure out some time to play that too we're gonna be Canadian, eh? You you grow some uh it's cannabis. You just drink maple syrup. And you drive cars. It's Canadian. Eight Poontain. Looks like a great game. And we're getting closer to the sun. Kerbal's gonna eat us up. Can we land on it? Will we just. I thought I was just gonna go like right into it. Look at this ludicrous speed we're doing over here. That's insane. We're on 2200 meters. Above the surface. Yeah, look at it now. Oh, oh the blinding spot. Cover the blind spot. We want to be able to see orange and yellow and swirls. It's like sherbet. Yeah, every grandma should have orange sherbet in the freezer. I used to love that when I was a kid to go to grandma's and orange sherbet and orange cream popsicles. Yep, that's what the curveball is reminding me of right now. Some orange sherbet and orange cream popsicles. Sounds delicious. But, this is Kerbal and we have mint ice cream. I'm Mimnus. We're gonna go to Mimnus and get mint ice cream. Oh, uh, and then we just died. Boom. You have this next time. Yeah. Like, subscribe one last time. Videos you may like, may have seen. Goodbye. Wait, we're not goodbye yet. Ha, I fade you out. I didn't leave yet. Goodbye.